What's going on? You already know what we got going on. Tonight is the first night that fellowship is open. I got a lot of food in my mouth. I got good smoke in my hand. And tonight, I cannot go wrong. I will not go wrong. So, I'm gonna take you on this ride to this ambiance like no other. I am Cam Newton, and this is my Cigar Lounge Fellowship. I'm extremely excited to present what I've been working on for so long. It's something that I'm nervous, anxious, and even excited about. It's my baby. Fellowship is a place where everything that I wanted in a social outlet, morning, noon, and night. We've had our eyesight for opening as soon as Super Bowl was even up on the, on the market to be in Atlanta. It pretty much derived from brainstorming with my older brother. We would go to a fine dining restaurant, but you can't smoke. You go to the club or, or, or lounge, it's not good food. We wanted just to embody all that into one specific spot and just to see where it, it has grown, it's crazy. Throughout this whole weekend, it's, it's, it's been everything I could have even imagined and more. Uh, being able to see something come to life and to see people really enjoying it, it really got me excited. The first night uh, of opening was Friday night. The theme of the night was the art of smoking, where everything was kind of tagged towards the education of smoking a cigar, what kind of foods to pair, and everything that was food-wise was smoked. Throughout those events, it was it was pretty cool to see, you know, your friends and family support. You know, I had teammates show up. You know, when I seen uh, Julius Peppers, uh, Christian McCaffrey, Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis, you know, all those guys, Mike Adams, you know, show up, man, it really meant the world because it's like, you know, it makes you value the relationship with, with, with your peers even more. And, you know, the game of football has is, is, is done so much good for me, but to, to see people support you outside of football, it, it was what was important. And it was just a night of celebration. I mean, the whole weekend was just a, a, a weekend of celebration, man. It was exciting. Everybody kept raving about, you know, the, the, the space itself. And, you know, we had a great time. And I just want to thank everybody for coming out for the first time Fellowship has laid eyes on beautiful people. And uh, I'm excited. And we can't forget about the big game. I'm somewhat peanut butter and jelly, but I'll get over it at the end of Sunday's game. And it's back to work. Who do you think is going to win the game? I could give a f It ain't me. All right, man. Tapping into business outside of football, it's a challenge. And me being the competitor that I am, I want to win at everything. And this business is being something that I'm considering I want to win at. You incorporate some of the same things with your team. Some of the direct correlations kind of are the gist of a successful business. Teamwork, leadership, trust, accountability, harmony. Those are the same things that are the reason why certain Fortune 500 companies are who they are. So after Friday's event, uh, we had a more intimate uh, kind of setup with everyone who's helped me along the way in life. Yep, yeah. <laughs> like I told them, it's a lot of different Panthers. I just decided to be the pink one of them. You know, agents there, friends, family. I think one of the, the, the bigger names that, that came that I really appreciated was uh, the Carolina Panthers owner, David Tepper. I know he's a very busy, a busy man. He has 11 billion reasons to be busy. But for him to just take the time out of his day to stop by, um, you know, it was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, man, I appreciate you coming, man. It means a lot to get you up. Awesome. No, no, we'll just stop by. I'm gonna get you uh, 200%. Yeah, I don't wanna ever let nobody down. I'm busting my ass to, to, to make sure we in this situation next year. Yeah, we're gonna win. <laughs> Absolutely. So Saturday night, the big theme was Welcome to the 404, a city where I'm from, a city that, you know, I want a lot of people to see in me the way I talk, the way I dress, the way I present myself to the world. A lot of it's old from my roots of being from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, and in that, you know, the whole vibe was kind of hinted towards the music, Southern cuisine, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and really introducing the cultural aspect of what Atlanta has meant to me and I want to present that 
off. It was vibrant. It was, um, you know, just everything was right. So Sunday, the theme of fellowship is the best seat in the house. We're really, we're literally walking distance from the stadium. You kind of get the feelings from the game. Everybody's walking past with jerseys on, you know, supporting you know, that particular team. At this particular point in time of the juncture, for me personally, I don't care who win, and that's and that's real talk. It, it was a good vibe. It was it it, it was exciting to see, uh, be up close in front with the action, uh, comfortable seats, comfortable you know dining, and and um, you know for Mr. Boomer to, to to pull up, you know that's a person that I you know I genuinely genuinely care about. Like I said, he's a person amongst others that you know I look to, look up to, you know, see what he's doing, get inspired by it. And for, for him to just, like I say, chop it up with him, it was good. So there you have it, man, it's a wrap. Unbelievable weekend, this whole weekend. Uh, to see my vision come to life is something that is unexplainable. The energy was unbelievable. The food was exceptional. Everything that you can embody in a club or a lounge, it was here. I'm tired, it's what, two o'clock in the morning. I'm envious too, mad as shit that I ain't in the damn Super Bowl, finding any and every way possible to make sure that this time next year that I'm in this big game. And that's what it's all about. I got angels all around me, yeah, yeah. I got love all around me, yeah, yeah. I'll be a fighter to the end, to my last breath. I'm a hustle to my last breath. I got angels all around me, yeah, yeah. I got love all around me, yeah, yeah. I'll be a fighter to the end, to my last breath. I'm a hustle to my last breath. Uh, now you should've never doubted me. The pain and the struggle followed me. My daddy never been that bothered me. And these cold streets made a man of me. I got tears in my eyes. My dreams all I got and I'll die for it. If I love it with a passion, I'ma ride for it. Man, thank you guys for checking me out this week. Once again, make sure you hit the like button as well as the subscribe button to stay up to date with, you know, whatever I drop on this page. I promise to keep things flowing at a rapid rate. And please comment. I wanna hear from you, the fans, to see what you wanna see more. This whole experience with YouTube is allowing me to connect one-on-one -on -one or give a deeper look inside who I am what I bring to the table, my thoughts, the way I think, and you know how I feel about certain situations in my life, in society, in the world, or whatever. So subscribe, one love brothers and sisters.